morning, children. How are you all? Hope you are doing good. Today we are going to learn about the rhyme Little Bo Peep. Let's start, children. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone. They will come home. Bring their tails behind them. Once again. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and can't tell where to find them. Leave them alone, they will come home, bring their tails behind them. Thank you children. Good morning children. Hope you all are doing good. Today we will learn to read phonic words with N. E N. N. Welcome you all children. Today we will learn phonic words with N. But before we start phonic words with N, let's start, let's revise phonic words with AT at and AN and. Let's revise once children. A T at B A T bat. C A D cat F A D fat H A D hat M A D mat A N an C A N can F A N fan M A N man R A N ran V A N van Okay now let's move towards next next phonic word family which is e n n e n n okay children here i'm going to write Which letter is this? Letter E, small e. And N. Letter N. Okay? E for egg. N for net. E sounds, E sounds, E. E sounds, E. Egg. E, egg. N sounds net n N sounds n e n so e n it will make n it will make n let's add some more letters with word family N E N N Here I am going to add letter D Which letter is this? D D E N D sounds D. E sounds E. N sounds N. D. E. 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 N. D. D. E. N. D. What is D. E. N. children? D. E. N. is a home of particular type of wild animals like bear, Tiger, lion, etc. Okay. D E N den. Next letter. Is. H. H sounds. H. E sounds. E. N sounds. N. H. E. N. H. H 
E N Hen. What is the children? Hen. H E N Hen. H E N Hen. Next letter we are adding here is Fee. P. P sounds P. E sounds E. N sounds N. P E N. Pen. P. P. E. N. It's pen. It's a pen. P E N. Pen. P E N. Pen. Pen. What is the use of pen? We. We write. We can write with a pen. P E. So what I am going to add is N. N sounds children. M. E. N. M. E sounds E. M. E. N. M. E. N. Men. M. E. N. Men. M. E. N. Men. Next letter is. T. T. T sounds T. E. N. T. E. N. T. E. N. T. E. N. Ten. T. E. N. Ten. Children, this is number ten. You know the numbers? Right. You know the numbers, right? So this is number ten. T E N ten. T E N ten. E N N. E N N. D E N den. D E N den. M E N men. M E N men. H E N hen. H E N hen T E N ten T E N ten P E N pen P E N pen Children identify the letters and practice to read the words Thank you Good morning children hello how are you hope you all are fine today i am going to teach you about the rooms Let's get started. In a house, we see different types of rooms. This is a bedroom. We sleep on a mattress with a pillow under our head. We take rest and sleep in our bedroom. We see many things like night lamp, wall picture, curtain, cupboard. Children, what all things are there in your bedroom? Name any five things you see. Now we will know about the bathroom. Bathroom is a place where we take our bath. Can you tell what all things we see there? We use soap and water to clean our body. To wash our hair, we use a shampoo. To wipe our body, we use a towel. Bathing. makes our body clean and fresh so we should take a bath every day now we come to the kitchen this is a place where our mother prepares tasty food for us mother uses utensils for cooking food is cooked on a gas stove we see many food items arranged in a shelf mother keeps the kitchen clean now comes the dining room here as a family we sit together near the dining table to have 
breakfast, lunch and dinner. It is served by our mother. We should enjoy our food. We should not spill our food. One important thing children, before and after eating, we should wash our hands properly. Here, this is our drawing room. When we enter our house, we first see this drawing room. This is a nice place to sit and relax. We see sofa set, TV, showcase, some decorative items. Guests are welcomed here. We should help mother to keep this room clean. Now children, this is a study room. Here children sit to do their homework. They practice and learn the work given by the teacher. We see many things in this room like school books, story books, drawing and coloring things, night lamp. We should keep our study room clean. Now you have learned about these six rooms. So practice these names of the rooms. Thank you. Today we are going to learn about months of the year. In our GK textbook, just have just we'll have a look on months of the year. How many months are there in a year, children? There are twelve months in a year. How many months? There are twelve months in a year. Let's have a look on the months of the year. They are January. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Children, now let's learn about the months in detail. And the first comes January. The year starts in January and it's the first month of the year and it's very cold. We must put on our scarf, gloves and jacket. And the next month is February. It's the second month of the year and it's the shortest month. It is still cold in February but it's also fun and it's the sweetest month of the year. Next comes March. March is the third month of the year. March begins to be a bit warmer. It's the end of the winter season and we all welcome the beautiful spring season. And next comes April. April is the fourth month of the year. As the spring continues, sometimes we can see it rains. So don't forget your boots and umbrellas. Easter comes in April so we can see the Easter bunnies. And next comes May. May is the fifth month of the year. We can feel the hot sun and we can enjoy the beautiful nature with bluebirds and blooming flowers and beautiful butterflies everywhere. We can see everything green in May. And next comes June. June is the sixth month of the year. As the summer continues in June and as well our summer vacation too continues. We enjoy our vacation with fun and days are very long in June. Next comes July. July is the seventh month of the year. It will be still warmer. What do we like to eat in hot sun children? Yes, ice creams. We enjoy eating ice creams and the vacation ends. We all will be returning from our camps. And next comes August. August is the 8th month of the year. We will meet our friends and neighbors in August and we can see this. it is the starting of the festive season. And in August, at night in August, we can see the shooting stars. Don't forget to see the shooting stars children. And next comes September. September is the ninth month of the year and we all are busy in our school studying and uh, with our friends we'll be enjoying, we'll be sharing our joy and happiness and celebrations. 
and next comes October. October is the tenth month of the year, and now it's autumn. The leaves starts falling from the trees, and it's the month of Halloween. Be ready with your Halloween costume for trick and treat. Next comes November. November is the eleventh month of the year. It is getting colder, and the days are getting shorter. We can see the wind blowing stronger, and it's time to look for your scarf and jacket again. And next comes December. It is the last month of the year. It begins now to snow again, and it becomes so cold. And it's also the beautiful season of Christmas. And it's the end. We get we also get ready to say goodbye to this year, and we heartily welcome the new year by wishing everyone a happy, happy new year, which again starts with the. January hope you enjoyed learning the months of the